السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان اسلامک شریع فائیو ڈیز آف فاسٹنگ آر فار بڈن یو آر ناٹ الاؤڈ ٹو ڈو فاسٹنگ آن فائیو ڈیز دا فسٹ ٹو ڈیز دیز آر دا ڈیز آف عید دا فسٹ ڈے از عید الفطر ڈے سو عید الفطر ڈے فاسٹنگ از حرام کمپلیٹلی and uh, on eid ul adha the day uh, fasting is also haram that is the 10th of zul hajj because eid ul adha is celebrated on 10th of zul hajj so the fasting is haram on 10th of zul hajj 11th of zul hajj uh, 12th of zul hajj and 13th of zul hajj so these are four days of fasting not allowed and one day from عید الفطر ڈے سو فائیو ڈیز فاسٹنگ از ناٹ الاؤڈ ان اسلام دیز ڈیز فاسٹنگ از ٹوٹلی حرام اینڈ ان دا ہول یار ادر ڈیز فاسٹنگ از الاؤڈ سو ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ہی واز ٹو ڈو فاسٹنگ آن منڈے اینڈ تھرس ڈے سو دیٹ از اے گڈ پروگرام and uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was doing fasting on monday because uh, he said in one hadith that uh, i have born in in this uh, day in the monday this way uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said why should i not be thankful to allah in other hadith uh, uh, we have uh, uh, that uh, holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that uh, uh, fasting on monday and thursday because uh, uh, at the time of uh, breaking fast uh, before that like uh, about asr to maghrib in between that time the angels who are called karam al khatibin who are writing the deeds on our left and right shoulder so these angels they are exchanged so these angels go and in turn in turn the other angels come to replace so this uh, replacement happens uh, before maghrib so this way when the angels they leave the person and go to see allah and allah ask them how did you find my slave so they say to allah Oh Allah, we found your slave in fasting. Allah says, You be witness that fasting is for me. Fasting is for me and I am reward for them. So I give reward for them. I forgive the sins of that person. So these fasting are very important because the sins or evil practices whatever have been done by us those are forgiven. So try to do fasting on Monday and Thursday every week. MashaAllah you will get more benefits also. The first benefit is Allah said As-Sawm Ali wa'an ajzi bihi. fasting is for me and i am the reward of that so allah will give you so much reward and the best reward you can see the people who have love to fast they have special door in uh, in the uh, in the paradise when they go to enter in paradise they will enter the door riyan that is the door for the people who love fasting and when they enter they will have to see mashallah allah dear So that is the blessed, uh, mashallah, so many blessings and mercies of Allah on those people. So this will happen there also, mashallah. So fasting is also, it is source of uh, producing love and to Allah and also generosity and uh, humb- humbleness and other good characters which come in the person. and also these are good for our health because it they fasting they produce in us immunity against the diseases more defense power we have against the diseases and also 
it makes our body more uh, having more potential and uh, mashallah more uh, strength alhamdulillah so the cells of the body and uh, they become more strong and uh, the parts of the body they are mashallah uh, very good and uh, mashallah healthy so this way uh, try to do fasting on uh, uh, monday and thursday and the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was to fast on uh, uh, the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth of Islamic month. And if you do so, that is good. And that is the Sunnah of Adam alayhi salam. Because when Adam alayhi salam came from uh, uh, paradise, uh, and then he, because of uh, sunlight and his uh, his face and his body that became blackish a little bit and then he requested Allah that I want that type of lure that was on my face and body in paradise. So Allah said you have to do the fasting and then he has that day was 13th and he has done the fasting of 13th then he has done fasting of 14th and 15th. So when he done the fasting uh, when he did the fasting of uh, uh, for thirteenth is some of the body body mashallah became with lure, and then when he uh, has done the second day more, and then when he done the when he did the fasting on third day, the whole body became same like he was Adam alayhi salam he was in in paradise same like that. So this way these these fasting are called fasting of ayame bees bees mean white. So, so this way, mashallah. So they are the fasting. If a person who is doing these type of fasting, that person will will uh, uh, will bring his personality or her personality more bright and beautiful and attractive. If you want to be attractive person, if you want to be a beautiful person, if you want to be a strong person, and with uh, uh, mashallah wonderful personality then have the fasting of three days 13th 14th and 15th of every Islamic month mashallah that will that will bring in you mashallah charming personality alhamdulillah and also you will be liked by Allah and Prophet sallallahu alaihi and uh, mashallah you will get the reward also and uh, uh, because we are talking about the Muharram, in the Muharram is uh, we have a revelation from Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said that Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a person who is doing fasting of the last day of Hajj and the first day of Muharram. So this person is like a person who has done the fasting throughout the whole year. MashaAllah, so much reward of that person. So a person who is uh, who is fasting at the last day of Hajj and the first day of Muharram, so that person is like that person who has done the fasting throughout the year. MashaAllah. And uh, one other hadith, it comes that if a person who is doing fasting of the first of Muharram, and also fasting on the 29th and 30th of Muharram and that person get more reward if the person is just to spend night in worship also. So, and what will happen at the day of judgment, his face will shine. When the people, they will, they will passing on the day of judgment through the bridge, there will be darkness and this person's face will bright, will give the way and he will find the way to go forward to pass the bridge very nicely. MashaAllah. And uh, one other hadith, it comes that uh, if a person who is just to start fasting from the first of Muharram uh, to the tenth of Muharram, the first ten days, who is fasting, that person will get the reward equal to having fasting 10 years. MashaAllah, so much. So this is too much reward there also. And the fasting on the day of Ashura, Ashura means the 10th Muharram. So that is very important also. 
and and uh, when Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after migration he came to Medina and he found uh, because when he came to Medina there was Muharram and uh, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he has seen the Jews and they were fasting on the 10th of Muharram and uh, when it was asked to them why are you fasting on this day they said that we are becoming thankful to Allah so this is fasting of thanksness to Allah because Allah has blessed us freedom from Fir'aun and this way Musa Islam he was fasting on this day so we are following the Sunnah of Musa Islam also then Holy Prophet Sallallahu said Musa Islam is the Prophet and we Prophets are brother and we are having more right to follow it then Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he he was throughout his life he was doing the fasting of 10th of Muharram also so and uh, in other revelation it has also Holy Prophet ﷺ told that you are not to follow the Jews but you have to do the separate way like you have to do fasting on 10th of Muharram and 9th of Muharram also along with it so very important also so this way, this uh, fasting is uh, very, very important. And uh, uh, one other hadith that is uh, revealed by Abdullah bin Abbas, رضي الله تعالى عنه, he said, uh, Holy Prophet wasallam, he was preferring to do fasting uh, on uh, on the on Muharram, especially the tenth of Muharram. This, book, this hadith is in Bukhari Muslim. And also Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu he revealed that the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said after Ramzan the best fasting is the fasting in the month of Muharram. This hadith is in Muslim Abu Daud and Tirmidhi. Abu Qatada radiallahu ta'ala anhu he revealed that Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that I hope that Allah will forgive the sins of the whole year of a person who will do fasting on the 10th of Muharram. So this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. So mashallah and, and you know the one other hadith that is, that is revealed by Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and he said that when the when the Ramzan fasting was not uh, compulsory, then uh, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was doing fasting more in uh, Muharram and the especially tenth of Muharram. This hadith is in Abu Dawood. And uh, Imam Malik also he revealed that uh, Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu and he told to Haris bin Hasham that you have to do fasting on the tenth of Muharram and say your subordinates they have to do the fasting on the 10th of Muharram also so this is in Mauta Imam Malik so same like this you can see one other hadith that is revealed by Abdullah bin Abbas Allah, he said that uh, you are uh, you are not to follow the Yahud to have a, a fasting on 10th of Muharram but you have to do against them like you have to do fasting on 9th of Muharram and 10th of Muharram. So this is Hadith is in Masnadi, Masnadi Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal And uh, Hafza radiallahu ta'ala anha, uh, she said the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he never left the fasting of 10th of Muharram in his life. So this Hadith is in Isai, MashaAllah Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was not to, to leave the fasting of 10th of Muharram. We try our best to, to do fasting so that so we can get the reward for, for this life also and the life hereafter also. Allah give us tawfiq. Ameen.